For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz video tip for you. Last time around we looked at practicing end games against the computer. How to set up endings where you just go to the position setup tab and set up an end game that you want to practice against Fritz with Fritz having access to the Nalimov end game table bases, also known as the Fritz end game turbo. But I did refer to it as kind of an old school way to practice end games, old school way to set them up. There is another way to do it, and I'll show you how to do it in this video, which is you go to training up here at the top, the training menu, click on it, and you will find a button here that says end game training. Click on it, and what you get is a whole bunch of pre programmed end games Bishop versus Rook, Knight versus Rook. Mate with one rook, which we looked at last time, by the way. Mate with two bishops. All these different end games that you can practice against the computer. Uh, pawn break. Different kinds of pawn breaks, as a matter of fact. All kinds of stuff you can practice. Pawn promotion. And these are pre-programmed end games. You scroll the whole way down here, you come to rook versus queen. Now, there's a, a little uh, button up here that says change sides. You know what? You don't even have to fool with that. And I'll show you what you do instead. Okay? In this particular ending, if you weren't, if you were to leave it the way the way it sits right now, when you click OK, it jumps right to that position that you saw in that little diagram in the end game training dialog. But and by the way, this end game, the way it's set up with perfect play, would be a draw. But let's say you want to play the queen side of it, not the rook side of it. Well, how do you make Fritz move? How do you make Fritz go first? It's set up for white to play first. How do you make Fritz take the white pieces? All you have to do is hit the space bar on your keyboard. Obviously, I can't show you that. You can't see my keyboard. But watch what happens when I hit the space bar. There you go. It's already made a move. And we see that with perfect play, this is a draw, just like I was saying. So we got, what we got to worry about right now is... Stalemate! See that? It's a tough position. <laughs> Tougher than you think. Surprise! Didn't see that coming, did you? So, that was wrong. So, what's another way to play this ending? Well, to find out, guess what? You don't have to go back to the end game training dialog to set this position back up again. That's why this little button stays pressed. That's why it's still in orange. It's still pressed. We're still in end game training mode. If we want to set that original position back up again to try a different tack in this game, we simply go to home, new game, and look what happens. We click new game and it sets that same position back up again. It doesn't go back to the original position for a game of chess. It just goes right to the same position. And if we want Fritz to play it, we just hit the space bar. And we can try something else. <laughs> Insufficient material, another dead draw. So that's how you practice these different positions. And by the way, Fritz will make another move. Even, or, even after it says insufficient material, Fritz will. Fritz has to get the last word, so Fritz will play that last move. You can go back up here to training, hit end game training again. It turns it off. Click it another time, and we can load another ending that we might want to try, like mate with one rook, as we saw last week. And we can just make a move and play it out against Fritz. So that's your shortcut to pre-programmed endgame training positions. You go to the training button menu, come down here to this part of the ribbon, and select endgame training to get that dialog. And notice that when you click on a particular endgame, it will always show you in this little part of the dialog, it will show you the starting position for that endgame. So you know what you're getting into. That way, if you're not sure the difference between pawn promotion 1 and pawn promotion 2, or queen versus pawn 1, 2, or 3, you can click and find it. You can see exactly the position you would be getting into. So it's that simple. Very easy to do. Pre-programmed endings that are already in a database in the Fritz, Ribka, Junior, Hierarchs, and Shredder software. Until next time, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.